everyone, it's Annette and welcome back to Cotto Verdi. Uh, today we're doing loads of stuff with dahlias and I just wanted to talk to you quickly about pinching out your dahlias and why we should do it and when to do it and I'm going to show you a few examples. So we pinch out our dahlias so that they branch and you get more flowers but also because if you don't pinch out the dahlias you'll find that you get like a really sort of broomstick like stem on your dahlia and that's really difficult to use in a flower arrangement and I think it's also quite brittle and it will you know snap in the wind and then you've lost your entire plant but if you pinch it out then it'll be better balanced I suppose. Um, anyway uh, that's one of the reasons we do it. The other thing that it's good to do with your dahlias is to make sure that they don't, especially if they've been in the ground for a while, make sure that they don't have too many stems coming up. So I know I just told you to create more stems, but what you don't want is a dahlia that's got like maybe 10 shoots coming out of that one tuber because what you'll find is you will have smaller flowers and maybe they just won't be quite as vibrant. So if you restrict the number of stems, then you'll get a better display. Um, so if you've got like an average size tuber or you just planted one tuber this year and you've suddenly got loads of sprouts, limit them to five by just snipping off one of them. And if it's early enough in the season, you can actually just try and root that one and create another plant. Um, I'm not going to show you that in this video, but I'll show you that maybe next year. It's just too late for me to do that now. It's the beginning of June. In fact, it's the very beginning of June. Um, so today I'm going to just show you how I pinch out my dahlias and, you know, whereabouts on the plant to do it. So this is one of the dahlias that I've grown in a pot and hopefully you can see that it's got four stems coming up from it and I'm happy with that. Four is a good number for me, but I don't know if you can see, but as the stems get older, they get thicker and thicker and these are younger ones and they're a bit thinner. And so what we're going to do today is we're going to pinch them out and that will create, where, where we pinch it out, it will create new shoots and you'll get a branching and you'll get more usable stems and also just more flowers. So I don't do this as early as maybe some other people do because I have found with experience that if you pinch too early, what you end up leaving is just a plant that's got like maybe two leaves and it just slows the plant down quite a bit. So you don't want to pinch too low because then the plant will have nothing to photosynthesize with. So I wait until they're about this size, sometimes a bit taller, and then I pinch them out. And you can use your fingers, but I use my snips. And what I'm going to do is go in here. I'm hoping you can see this. And um, it's got sort of some very old leaves here. And then it's got another leaf here. And then it's got another pair of leaves here. And I am going to pinch it. I don't know how you can see this best. I'm going to pinch it above the third set of leaves. So I'm taking that out and as I said, if it's early enough in the season, you can actually just stick this in a pot and root it and create another plant, but I'm not going to. So I've actually got six sets of leaves here still, so that's plenty to photosynthesize. And what will happen is you will get new shoots coming out in between the old stem and this leaf. And a new shoot will come here and a new shoot will come here and that will create two more stems. And I'll show you in a minute, some that I pinched earlier because they were taller and um, you'll be able to see where the shoots are coming. So again, I'm going to pinch this stem here because it needs pinching and I'm leaving, these are old leaves down here and then this leaf and then I'm going to leave this leaf here. And so I'm going to pinch just above that leaf there and take that out. And then just because it's a more slender stem and it's younger doesn't mean you shouldn't pinch it. So with this taller one here, I'm going to nip out the top of it there and while I'm at it I'm going to do the other little one just because then this plant is done. So it's still got a lot of leaves on it, plenty to photosynthesize and hopefully um, it will just not even notice and it will carry on growing and it will create, create new shoots. Okay here's a more simple version of a dahlia to show you. And it's just, um, it's only got 
one stem coming up, one sprout. And actually, snowflake is quite short. Yeah, it's about 80 centimeters, so it's not going to get very big. And so I definitely want it to branch. I'm going to, again, going to leave the very old one, the next leaf up, and then the third leaf, and I'm going to pinch there. I mean, it's not an exact science, but that's where I pinch. And if you look like right in there next to that stem where I pinched it, you can see tiny little sort of leafy things. And those are the things that will create new shoots. So just to show you another one that's desperately in need of pinching. Again, it's only got one stem coming up, but I'm gonna leave one, two, three, and then I'm going to pinch out here. And that's all I do. I mean, I could take it down to here, but I don't want to risk it. I think I'm just going to let it go there. This one gets to one meter tall, so it's not hugely tall. It should be all right. So what I'm going to show you here is one that's a little bit moth eaten by slugs. But um, what it's going to show is um, where I pinched it a few weeks ago, um, it's created two new shoots. So this here, Hang on a second. This thing here, this purple stumpy bit is where I chopped off the stem. And this was a leaf before the slugs got it. And it's created one shoot here and one shoot here in between what used to be leaves. I'm not sure why the slugs got this plant in particular. I mean, it's doing fine despite a little bit of damage. Um, but that's exactly what happens. So you'll get new shoots coming up from just where you pinched it. So this would have just been one straight stem, but because I pinched it, it's got two shoots. And here's another example of one that I pinched earlier on. So I don't know if you can see, so. Right down here in the bottom is where I snipped off the middle and it's created this branch here and this branch here. So it sort of bulks up your dahlias if you do it. And I'm actually now just going to go and pinch all the dahlias that we planted at the flower bed a few weeks ago. Um, there are quite a few that are ready to be pinched and I'm just going to go and pinch them. Snip them off exactly the same way that I've just shown you how to do these ones. So I just want to show you, this is a pot that I planted up, uh, I think last weekend, and I pinched out the tip of this dahlia. And these are the shoots that are just starting to grow on either side from where I snipped off the top. And again, this is another one that I pinched last week and I cut it off here. And can you see the little shoots that are growing on either side? So that's what happens if you pinch it. You just create a bushier plant with more flowers. So I hope that's been useful and shown you why I pinch and how I do it. And I'll show you later on in the season how it's created more flowers, um, just in case you want to see that. But it's definitely worth doing, and I would do it to all of my dahlias. Um, I, there, there isn't one that I wouldn't do it to, so I definitely pinch out the top. Um, what I haven't been able to find is one that's got more than five shoots. So I haven't been able to find one um, where I can show you how I just snip off a stem that I don't want. Um, but if I find one later on in the season, I'll definitely show you. I'll put that up on a video. So I hope that you've enjoyed this video. And if you have, then please do subscribe to my channel. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all next time.